What is going on in the loop fans? It's Drew here at Epcot. It's time for another park update. Lots of cool new things going on here. A new security booth, uh, which surprisingly I was excited about because Epcot's old security booth was not very good. And then we got some Guardians construction, lots of good stuff. So stay tuned, check out this video and see what's going on. All right, first on the list today is Guardians of the Galaxy. And you'll see there's a new black wall over here. It is no longer the galactic wall. Uh, the roof completely dismantled now as they are redoing things. We got a lovely tarp scrim up there and some machinery going on. But at this point, I think we're only gonna see exterior cosmetic stuff as not a whole lot is gonna be visual of the ride. But we now have a wall. We can no longer walk this pathway over to the former or the future play pavilion. Completely blocked off, so we can't see that anymore. Maybe from the other side, but definitely not from this angle right here. And you can see more walls over here also blocking the pathway to the play pavilion and Guardians of the Galaxy. Here we've got the backside of Space 220, the restaurant. It has a name now. Not a whole lot going on there. It looks pretty good. Might just need to be painted at this point, but it does have a name. It's Space 220. Back here you can see the construction of what is going on for the new area by Ratatouille. Also the Skyliner is up and running. You can see the Skyliner flies right over it. And uh, Tower of Terror in the background, so that's cool. But there is some of your Ratatouille update. The land is still just in concrete blocks. But it's opening next year, so that's really awesome. Can't wait for that. Uh, with Illuminations gone forever, we now have Epcot Forever, a temporary show here in the Epcot Lagoon. Uh, gotta say, I think my favorite part was that it wasn't Illuminations my entire life. I can only really remember Illuminations here. So it was neat to see something different. Uh, these are some barges that are used in the show. And uh, also adding in some highlights of the show so you can see what's going on there. But it's cool, I would check it out. Uh, it's no Illuminations, so if Illuminations was like your favorite thing ever, you probably won't like this show. But, you know, it wasn't bad. I didn't hate it. Thought it was fun. I liked the music. No complaints for me, but I'm sure everybody else has complaints about it because y'all complain about everything. But that's why we love you on the internet. So up at the front over here, we have the new tram drop-off spot giving you a closer drop-off to the entrance of the park over here rather than having to be dropped off over there and walk all the way along that side through the back half. So that's cool. Now the big open area that used to be the tram drop-off is now a giant security booth section. Lots of booths. It's going to be efficient like Hollywood Studios now. That's a big win because Epcot easily had the worst security beforehand. It would take forever and now it looks pretty efficient. Got a big Epcot logo wall here where the other half of these uh, tombstone-like things once were the Leave a Legacy, the, also the big center garden thing for all of the facades for all the different festivals. That's behind a wall. And of course the fountain that was over here, also now behind a wall and gone. But that is the new Epcot logo. Next to the bathrooms over here in guest relations, we have a bunch of trees torn down. So now you can see all the way to the backside of the Guardians, the former Allen Energy Adventure Pavilion. So we got construction there. Looks like a bunch of trees are torn down. If you look closely, you can see the Starbucks logo, logo is gone as the Fountain View is closed, along with Club Cool and, well, the fountain that was right there in between them. So uh, more refurb walls here going on. It's the new transformation of Epcot. Zooming in here, you can see some sort of heavy machinery right there. And you got another one if we pan over. Can we see it? Right there. And yeah, we got walls over here as Innoventions has finally closed forever. The last few attractions are now forever gone. All right, we got new artwork here on the outside of the Odyssey. We've got that painting there. We have pink over the door, and then we have an old Odyssey logo right there, so that's cool. Good stuff there. Inside the Odyssey is the Epcot Experience. Alright, so pretty cool. We've got this 3D model that has projectors all around the room here. Showing off this model of all the different things that are coming. Like that's the Moana experience. Uh, and then some of it's just normal Epcot stuff like Spaceship Earth, Journey into Imagination. But it's all really cool. And it's got this 3D or 360 movie going around it. I'm not really sure how much of this 
audio is going to come in, so I might have to dub over all of it if it's really loud. But it's an awesome, awesome exhibit here with this 3D projected image here. There's a second side to this projection. The magic of possibility awaits. You take a beautiful shot like this, and you wouldn't be able to tell Epcot is almost entirely under construction until you pan and you see, oh, look at all these walls. Yes. Well, good news, say goodbye to the worst bathrooms on property. The small ones right next to the refreshment ports have been destroyed. All right, so that will do it here for today's Epcot update. One final look at the back side of the ball here with the big construction piece there. So thank you for watching this video and all of our other videos here on the In The Loop channel. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash In The Loop Podcast. Follow me on Twitter at Drew The Intern. And we'll see you on the Midway here at Epcot or somewhere else. Yeah.